there, good looking. Happy Halloween! Whoa. Hey, if you're watching this real time, today is Halloween, and I thought I would do a scary workout. Scary for me, actually. I haven't got a clue what we're going to be doing. Or more like, I haven't got a clue in what order we're going to be doing the workout in. Here's what we'll be doing. I have 20 exercises in this little pot. When the timer goes, I will pick an exercise out and we will do that for 45 seconds. Next exercise, I'll continue doing that until we've done all 20 moves. Ha <laughs> ha! It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be scary awesome. Hey, so do me a favor. I want you to grab a pair of light, moderate, and heavy dumbbells because I have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> so grab the dumbbells and I will talk you through it when we get there. Deal? All right, let's go start sweating. workout or more like trainer has no choice workout so we've got the exercises off to the side I will draw the first move after we've warmed up so let's get warmed up feet apart abs engaged big arm circles make them big exaggerate the motion warm up those shoulders for whatever shoulder move we have to do <laughs> oh this is gonna be great we could like do five tricep exercises back to back oh boy that'll burn that's probably what's gonna happen. <laughs> Last three, two, one. Open and close now. Good job. Last couple here. All right, step it back for a lunge for me. Stay here, we've got eight lunges. Bring the back knee all the way to the ground if you can, and then come on up and straighten that front leg. Beautiful, seven more. Good, just let the knee tap, okay? I don't want you to walk away bruised and broken. Maybe broken a little bit, but not bruised. <laughs> nice, huh? I know. <laughs> Last three, two, one. Other leg back, give me a good stride back. You wanna feel that stretch through the hip. Here we go, back knee to the ground if you're able to. Drive up, straighten that front leg. So these are all strength moves I have programmed for us. That much I know is gonna happen. As I said, 20 different exercises. We've got a little bit of everything in that pot. Chest, triceps, biceps, core, back, legs. It's just who knows what order we're gonna be doing it in. <laughs> Last one, excellent. Feet hip width, give me some big hip circles. Same leg, four times, make it big. Get deep into that hip joint. Last one. Other side. One more. Walk out to warm the upper body and core up. We bend the knees, we walk out into high plank, wrists under shoulders, and walk back. Three more. Last two. Excellent. One leg deadlifts. We'll lift that one leg up, soften that knee so you can get the fingers to the ground and back. Three more. Keep the back neutral. If you're having a hard time with your balance, focus on something stationary. Last one. Other leg. So we're doing this because we do have this move but with dumbbells in the pot, okay? So it's kind of a preview, so I want you to get used to it. Being on one leg, it's a challenge for the balance, but I want you, more important, is to get that hip hinge motion. So our back is neutral, and we're bending through that hip, not your waist. Last one, and release. All right, grab a sip of water, because this might be our last time to do that. Get your dumbbells close by, because we are gonna get busy. Okay, so once again, we have 20 exercises. All right, 45 seconds on the clock, 15 seconds in between, so I have a chance to draw the exercise, quickly demo it, talk you through it, and to tell you what size dumbbells that you'll need for the exercise, okay? So exercise number one is... Ha, walk out 
push up. This is actually a good one to start out with. It's a compound move. We just learned the walk out, so that's good. It's looking good so far at home. Okay, so what it looks like here, we walk out, tap on the knees if you'd like, push up, elbows in close, go back to plank, and walk back. Okay, no problem. Ready, 45 seconds, let's go. Walk out. Tap on the knees if you'd like, but I want those elbows in tight, okay? Then to high plank, and then walk back. So my push-up isn't that strong, so that's why I'm on my knees. I don't want those elbows flaring out. That's a great way to injure your shoulder. I want those elbows in so you kind of look like a grasshopper. And then the gaze is slightly ahead of you. Remember that neck positioning. Shoulders, triceps, thighs, glutes, hips. It's kind of the full meal deal right here. T 
done. Woo. Next move, side plank, reverse fly. One light dumbbell, please. Here we go. Take the elbow under the shoulder, bottom knee on the ground, lift up. Hand, you want to straight, arm straight, and hand right underneath, right in front of the um, shoulder. Lift up. I had a hard time getting all that out, didn't I? And lower. Just shut up and show them the move, PJ. So we've got to be here for two rounds, right? We've got to do the other side. Because I don't have the other side as another exercise. That probably would have been smart. But again, I think we established. I'm not a smart trainer. <laughs> so core move, time. And another shoulder move, yes. All right, other side, here we go. So get the elbow under the shoulder. That much I'm smart about, that'll help protect the shoulder. Lift the hip up, arm straight. You wanna line up with that bottom armpit. Now lift it up, hand just comes up to shoulder, okay? So don't let it go past your body. If you need to modify it, just get rid of the damn dumbbell, okay? Just use your arm. No worries, pretend you've got the dumbbell. Stick with me, girl. I will get you strong. bugging your knees, do this instead while we do lunges and then hop back in on the next move with us. That's how I train all my classes too. We have 16 people in a class. Sometimes I got 15 of them doing totally different moves. Uh, keeps me on my toes. 
Done. Woo. All right, next move. Alternating reverse lunge, bicep curl. Grab your moderates, okay? Reverse lunge. When we do that, we curl the hands up to the shoulders, other leg, same thing with the arms. Keep your body weight on that back hip. When you do the lunge, keep that front knee lined up at the hip. Now if you'll take a look, I'm being really strict with my arms too. I'm not swinging them. I'm keeping the elbows underneath the shoulders, tight to the rib cage, and focusing on just using the bicep muscle to lift and lower the weight. I have no idea what exercise number we're on. Do you? <laughs> Yell it out, I might be able to hear you. I think we might be halfway. Time. All right, next one. High to low wood chop. So this is another left and right side. I want you to grab one moderate only. Feet are hip width, so not too wide. Hold on to the dumbbell to the outside of your right knee, okay? Now come up and throw it over the opposite shoulder. Do it again. Now you can hold on to the post, okay? Or you can hold on to end to end. Neutral spine, that's important. This is a core move, believe it or not, in addition to obviously legs. I don't have to cue you, make sure you hold on to that dumbbell. You might get a real Halloween surprise. Pay for a new window, new TV. Actually, that might be all right, huh? Done. All right, we got the other side. We bought a new TV last year. Holy cow, are they ever big now. I know I'm old, aren't I? <laughs> and go, but the last TV we had bought was like 10 years ago. <laughs> and technology has changed. <laughs> and I was the total guy in the relationship. We were at the store <laughs> and Larry wanted, I forget what size it was. I had to convince him to get bigger, 65, and no, no, let's get bigger. <laughs> and while we're at it, let's get a new sound system too, honey. <laughs> Done. All right, next move. Where are we? Oh, sumo squat to side bend. Ooh. Okay, no dumbbells. Feet wide, toes turned out. All right, good. Now sink down into the sumo squat. We're gonna hold this. Hands behind the ears, pull the elbows back. Now bring rib to hip on one side, other side rib to hip. So it's a sort of a side bend while we hold a static squat. Keep those elbows back. So if you take a look in your peripheral, you shouldn't see the elbows, okay? So pull them back for me. Keep yourself lifted. You're not rounding towards the thighs. Stay fairly upright in the upper body. Whew. We must be near the end. We're hitting all legs now. <laughs> Birds. All right, next move. Check press. All right, this is a good one. It's shoulders. I want you to grab a pair of light. Okay? It's kind of like an Arnold press, but not really. Bring your elbows up, shoulder height, lined up with the ground. Try to get the elbows together. Now open, press up like your shoulder press, down, close, leading with the elbows. Okay? Stagger the stance if you'd like to help. Stabilize the low back. Abs engaged, shoulders, upper back, triceps, all that good stuff. And then our core is totally stabilizing. So say hello to those abs. Oh. This one burns, baby. It's a good burn, but it burns. 
time. Woo! All right, next one. Where are we? Alternating bent over row. Heavy dumbbells, unless you have a sensitive low back, then I would like for you to grab a pair of moderate. Feet hip width, give me that hip hinge. Arms straight, drive one elbow up, then the other. Working our lats here, as well as mid back muscles, rear delt, and biceps. Once again, I can't stress enough, please make sure you have that hip hinge, so that neutral spine, if you have a mirror, if you can go take a look, that would be awesome. Just make sure you come back. <laughs> I don't want to finish this workout by myself. <laughs> Thank you. Time! Woo! What's next? Oh boy, all right. <laughs> Let's get on all fours. Is our bear crawl, opposite arm and leg lift. So, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Tuck your toes under, lift the knees up a little bit, extend one leg and opposite arm and release. To modify, keep the knees on the ground, okay? Whoa. So, a lot of quad, back, core. John, whoo, I forgot about that one. <laughs> All right, that's this one. Narrow chest press. Grab your heavies on your back. Knees bent, feet on the ground. Elbows in tight, palms facing each other. Punch the arms straight up, lower down. So we keep the elbows in tight, so we put a more focus on the triceps. We do this every year at the uh, studio too, and each person has to draw an exercise, and we've got names for the exercises, so it'd be like scaredy cat squat, right? Anything Halloween associated. Time. Ghostly goblet squat. That idea. Ugh. All right, what's this? Renegade row, oh boy. Grab your moderate, skin to a plank, dumbbell under each hand, nice long plank, drive the elbows up. Don't let the hips twist. Modify, stay on the knees for me. See, always options. You can also go no dumbbell, okay? There are some, you may be like, forget it, I don't even want a dumbbell PJ. Don't worry about it. No dumbbell, lift the arm up. You're going to build your strength, you're going to get stronger, and then you'll be using three pounds, and then fives, eights. You'll be a machine before you know it. You just got to stick with it. I'll be honest, I forgot about these ones too. <laughs> oh boy, what else did you forget about PJ? <laughs> Dime! Uh, Grab your moderates again, back on the mat, arms straight, wrists, shoulders, elbows in one line, bend the elbows, bring the hands down towards the ears, and straighten the arms. So we want to keep those elbows in line with the shoulders, so they're not moving, or the shoulders aren't, just the elbow is hinging. Are you able to get the dumbbell to touch the ground right beside each ear? Just watch the noggin, okay? Feeling the back of the upper arm, I hope. If you're not, you need heavier weight. Just throwing it out there. We're almost near the end. Don't worry, we are almost there at home. Time! Woo! All right. Oh, last two moves. 
Witch chop. Grab one heavy for me. Feet wide. Toes turned out. Hold on to the dumbbell post. Bend the knees. Swing the dumbbell. Use the hips by pushing the hips forward to get the dumbbell up to shoulder height. So it's down. So really use those hips. It's not coming through the shoulders. All right, it's those hips that are driving the straight arms up and the dumbbell up to chest height. This again is a core move, believe it or not, as well as obviously glute, thighs and hips. We have one more exercise to do after this at home. We are rocking this workout. Time. What's the last move? I don't know, PJ, what is it? Oh, <laughs> I put the timer on. This is so appropriate. It's death squats. <laughs> ah, all right. <laughs> Get your moderate dumbbells for me. Place them here. If you're able to give me a deep squat bump to the ground without tilting or what we call winking the pelvis, so that means tilting it under, then you don't need to do this. Otherwise, grab on to your dumbbells, place your heels on top, grab one heavy, hold it here or no dumbbells and we're taking it all the way to the ground. Last move, this is so appropriate. <laughs> Ready and go. So I want you to go all the way down. Are you all the way down? Take a look. Come on, all the way down. Good, now drive up, squeeze the booty. <laughs> so a lot of quad here. We're taking a deeper squat than we normally do. And the reason I have your heels on a post is most people are unable to give a deep squat and maintain their pelvis alignment. They tuck the bum under, what we call winking. Okay, this way. And that's due to have tight ankles, believe it or not. So now we've taken that equation out of the ankle. Give me two more, two more, come on. And time. Well done, high five at home. Woo! All right, grab a sip of water, get your mat out. We are gonna stretch you out before you continue on with your day. Okay, at home, let's get you down onto your knees. We'll stretch by, um, start by stretching the hip flexors and then move our way to the back of the body. So, knee under the hip, other knee is ankle slightly ahead of the knee, lunge forward, tuck the tailbone under, inhale that bar, back arm up and lean away from the hip. So stretching into the hip flexor, worked into our quads, when we worked our, the last move, the death squats, the lunges. And release, other side. Again, the setup, ankle ahead of the knee, lunge forward to line the two up, tuck the tailbone under, inhale the arms straight up, exhale, lean away. So if you're new to the channel, I normally don't program my workouts like this. <laughs> There's actually some science behind how I program my workouts, but I just thought this would be fun. And if you are new to the channel, I hope you subscribe. Click that notification bell. I'll let you know every time I drop a workout. Release, lying on your side. Let's get into the quads. Heel up, knee goes back, and then if you're able to, bend that bottom leg and hook the foot on the outside of the knee. A little deeper quad stretch, an IT band here. Release, other side. Hook that bottom foot if you'd like on the outside of the knee. And release on your backs. Left leg straight up in the air, get into the hamstring. If you'd like, straighten the other leg. Tuck your chin in so the back of the neck is longer than the front. Feet 
Figure four, bend the other leg, cross the ankle over the thigh, pull in. Feel that stretch into the glute and hip. This is one of my favorite stretches. Release the left leg to the ground, extend the right one up, get the hamstring here. Figure four. Woo! This hip's a little tighter. How about you at home? You feel that? Feel a difference in each hip? Yeah. Our dominant sides tend to be tighter. They tend to be less flexible. And release. Arms in a T position, palms up. Separate the feet and the knees so they're mat width apart. Drop the knees to the left. And then take that bottom foot and just hook it on the outside of the knee. Turn the gaze in the opposite direction of the knees. Release the foot. Situate yourself back to center, readjust. Drop the knees to your right. Right foot outside of left knee. Gaze in the opposite direction. Release. Knees into chest, low back and glutes. Maybe rock them side to side. Hands light behind the thighs. Rock yourself up to a seated position. And seated cross-legged or kneeling, whatever is comfortable for you. A couple of upper body stretches before you leave. Take your left hand, right hand presses on the elbow. Lean away, get into the armpit area, the muscles there, as well as your tricep. Release, other side. So if you are watching this real time on Halloween, careful with all the Halloween candy, okay? <laughs> I'm not saying don't eat it, I'm just saying careful. Have a couple, not a couple bags. And release, arms down by your side, palms on the ground or on your mat, drop the left ear to the shoulder. Oh, nice little stretch in the side of the neck. And before you leave, make sure you drop a comment. I would love to hear what you thought of this unique programming idea I came up with. Back to center, other side. Interlace the hands behind the head, pull the elbows back, look up, open up the front of the body, maybe even arch the back if you're able to a bit. Oh yeah. And release. Hey, hey, thank you so much for having fun with me. I really appreciate it. Make sure, drop a comment. I would love to know what you thought of the workout. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. We would love for you to join us. All right, mwah. until next workout, we'll see ya. Woo. All right, high five. That was awesome, good job.